Now, after Senator Bernie Sanders lost Nevada by about five points, numerous pundits and publications have started saying that, oh, Sanders, you're done. You're done. He's done. He'll never win. <laughs> there goes her. What happened to your political revolution? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? It didn't happen. On and on and on. All the sorts of bullshit, right? Now, unfortunately for them, two new polls show that Sanders is strong and here to stay. The first poll uh, comes from West Virginia. Now, a new poll shows Bernie Sanders leading Hillary Clinton by about a two-to-one advantage in West Virginia. Uh, Sanders has about 57% support, while Hillary Clinton has about 29 support. And this is from a Metro News West Virginia poll. Now, of course, as I've reported before, Senator Sanders crushes with the youth vote. He's got a strength among 18 to 34 year olds. However, what's different in this state is that he also has a majority support among all age groups except for seniors. Now, among uh, voters 65 and older in the state, Sanders still leads Clinton by a margin of 43 to 36%. Now, that means he's crushing with all age demographics, not just the young people who aren't as reliable to show up to vote. Let's be honest about that. Um, sometimes you have stuff getting in the way. You can't caucus. You can't primary. You've got to work. You've got school, et cetera, et cetera, right? Um, so they're not as reliable as people who are older. But once again, here comes the older people, the people 65 and older rallying to Senator Sanders, at least a little bit more than they rallied to Hillary Clinton. Now, it's a smaller margin, but they're there. Boomers for Bernie, man. Oh, I think I just invented something here. <laughs> Boomers for Bernie. All right. Now, if you can remember in 2008, and there's some parallels to draw here, right? In 2008, Clinton actually beat President Obama here in the West Virginia primary in 2008. Now, race happened to be a very important factor for voters. So to see that Senator Sanders is actually doing really well, having a two to one margin against Hillary Clinton, who won it last time, that's pretty significant. That's very significant. Now, it does have a margin of error of plus or minus 4.9%, uh, 4 uh, and it was has a rather small sample size. So we'll have to see if more polls match up to this with a larger sample size. So just take it with a grain of salt, but nonetheless, kind of a kind of an interesting poll. So that's West Virginia. What about nationally? Well, nationally, the news gets even better for Senator Sanders. New national poll from Reuters shows Bernie Sanders leading Hillary Clinton nationally by six points among Democrats. That is the largest lead of the race so far. According to the five-day rolling poll results released yesterday, Sanders has the support of 41.7% of voters who identify as Democrats compared to Hillary Clinton's 35.5%. Now the poll sampled about 998 voters from across the country who identify as Democrats or as independents who lean towards the Democratic Party. Now that's very important because Senator Sanders actually does better among independents than he does with Democrats. And independents are going to be a very important part of winning not only the primary, but the general election as well. Now Reuters polls have also showed Clinton and Sanders in a virtual dead heat since the beginning of February, following the Iowa caucus. Now a Reuters Ipsos poll showed Clinton just two points ahead of Sanders in a national survey with a five point margin of error, meaning the poll was effectively a dead heat. However, a Quinnipiac national poll released on February 17th showed Sanders two points ahead of Clinton, which was also within the margin of error. But what we have now is Reuters saying, Bernie Sanders is now leading nationally by six points. That's awesome. <laughs> now, this means that this is an 11 point swing in Bernie Sanders' favor over a one month period. You know what we call that? We call that getting burned. <laughs> Look, man, Sanders is gaining ground. And this is what's the most interesting part about this Reuters wrote his poll, is that he's actually, um, you can make a parallel between Bernie Sanders and Barack Obama. 
he's gaining the ground on Clinton at roughly the same pace Barack Obama did back in 2008. And according to Real Clear Politics polling averages, between February 22nd and February 24th, Obama, this was back in 2008, Obama was three points up on Clinton. So he's actually kind of doing better nationally. Now don't get me wrong, there's still a long way to go for the nomination. There's still a lot of different polling, a lot of different uh, primaries and caucuses in states where he's not doing as well against Hillary Clinton. In some states, she's up by double digits. But regardless, this new national poll might help Senator Sanders regain some of that momentum as he goes into further states. He's not going to win South Carolina. But depending on how close he gets there, that could really start to increase his momentum. It's going to be a long race. And trust me, Bernie Sanders, he ain't done yet. Not even close.